Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel BD and for today I'm here to talk a little bit about the Assassin's Creed Origins running on my laptop. So Assassin's Creed Origins, it was developed by the Ubisoft Montreal and it is using Evil Max 2.0. I'm starting uh, by the settings right now and this is not going to be good, sorry I missed the menu. So this is the correct menu, so for the settings I'm using 720p with a 50% of resolution scaling. Uh, this in practice is the same thing as playing a game at 360p of resolution. It is really bad, let me tell you. And for the settings, what I'm using in here, it is the absolutely minimum. I'm just messing around in here with the dynamic resolution, which in practice is... It, it is not a dynamic resolution, but more of a dynamic anti-aliasing that adjusts the anti-aliasing um, regarding your frame rate. So since we are a lower than 30 frames per second on this game what happens is it's going to use the worst anti-aliasing possible and yet what you see in here it is the game playing uh, lower than 25 frames per second recording with OBS and with the absolutely minimum possible settings you can go for and as you can see it looks blurry as hell if you put the game on full screen it really looks a lot blurrier it, it feels like you need glasses to see anything but you can't find those glasses and the only way to get those glasses it is to disable anti-aliasing but then what you see in here it is just a big amount of pixels flickering all over the place as you can expect because the resolution it is the same as playing with 360p and yet by using all these very low settings yet you still don't get uh, 25 or 30 frames per second. So I decided to test the game in two different environments. The first one it was Siwa, which is the first village that you are going to that you are going to find as soon as you start the game. And as you can see, the frame rates uh, I did a kind of a, a run through the village, and the frame rate that I got it was an average of 25 and the 1% low of 18. So what you are seeing in here it is a um, performance pretty much between the 20s and the 30s, and uh, sometimes even lower than that. Outside from the village, the performance is a little bit better, it goes between the 25 to low 30s, but inside the villages, the performance really, it is really bad. And sometimes you really get some important quests inside the villages where you need to fight and stuff like that, and it really gets complicated to play in there. Also, after testing Siwa, I decided to test a very famous uh, place in this game, which is, many people say it's very demanding, and it is, which is Alexandria. It is the most demanding part of the game for the CPU. In the middle of the village, it was pretty much the same experience as Siwa, so I got pretty much a frame rate between the 20s and the 30s, and then I decided to go a little bit outside Siwa and try to climb a tower, and there the performance got much better, it was above the 30 frames per second, and it was really acceptable, but Climbing a tower, it isn't really demanding, and you are not going to spend all the time climbing towers like in any other Assassin's Creed game. So my recommendation towards this game, you know, it is a little bit complicated. By now I need to select a quest, I'm not really sure what should I choose, but this false oracle seems like a very tough quest to me, but okay, I will try it anyway, since it's inside the fortress of Siwa. And so it will be very demanding and you will get an idea how bad the, the game looks in the, with these settings and how bad it's going to perform. Keep in mind that I'm also recording with OBS right now so the performance will even be worse than it actually is, okay, but you will see it. So overall, my recommendation towards this game, if you should buy this game for the GT 740M or the GT 9, 920M, my personal recommendation is, no, don't buy the game. I'm saying this not because the game is bad or anything, I think Assassin's Creed Origins seems like a revamped version that Assassin's Creed really required for a long time. The fighting system seems almost like a Dark Souls game, not entirely, but it feels really great. And But with this computer it's completely impossible to appreciate some of these fighting mechanics because the frame rate is so low that for example maneuvering the bow it is really complicated. Fighting multiple enemies that many times are not that easy. Um, this game is considerably more challenging than the other games um, 
gets really complicated with a very low frame rate and also after that you even that you even have these very low graphics which makes it difficult to sometimes to see enemies to understand to understand what the hell is in front of you uh, so it's not really an appreciable it's not really good to say that uh, the game won't be performing good enough to justify you to spend 60 bucks on this game. I think that if you are a, if you are going to upgrade your computer in the future, if you are going to get a new laptop or more powerful laptop, a desktop, or even a console, if you are going to if you are going to get a PlayStation 4 or anything like it, I think you will be better served with uh, playing those playing this game on those other platforms that you are going to get in the future than playing this game on this laptop. I think you should avoid to buy this game. I'm not saying that you can't finish the game with this laptop, but what I'm trying to say is that the experience that you are going to get playing this game with this laptop will not be the best that this game deserves. I think this game deserves to be played in a good frame rate. And when I say good frame rate, I would say something above 30 frames per second or even 30 frames per second locked like the console does. And the graphics, as soon as the resolution was good enough, I think it was fine. But playing with this 720p with 50% resolution scaling really breaks a lot the visuals and makes the experience a bit, a little bit more tougher. And I don't know, it, I think it's really bad. So that is why I don't recommend you to buy Assassin's Creed Origins for this laptop. But again, the decision, it is completely up to you. So with this, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to in let you enjoy a little bit of gameplay. I'm going to try to take down this guy. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do it, okay, but it's going to be very tough. Also, I will cut from Siwa and a little bit more forward on the video. I will show you a little bit of Alexandria and I will climb the tower that I talked that I talked to you about, okay? So guys, that's all. Thank a lot for watching. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. Hope this was helpful and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Hey, keep the lab safe. By the love of our moon. What? I don't let don't let anything through. You will suffer for that. Good news! I can fix all your problems in a snap! <laughs> Take much dedication! <laughs> Good news! I can fix all your problems in a snap! <laughs> I guess the words of Archimedes, Plato. Morias para as que vals mata tudo a destino. Oi, os meios ou nos afrocinos? 
Idiotin! I love Ninuki, most this. I should be cautious around here. Thank <laughs> you. 